Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Gully here. Welcome back to a little bit of a different video. The release date for the diplomacy update for Polytopia has been announced. So if you pop over to this website here, polytopia.io slash diplomacy, you're taken to this web page, scroll on down, bada bing bada boom, you got a timer counting down. Seven days, 23 hours, and 21 minutes at the time of recording this. Now I believe for me that comes out to May 24th, some sometime around there. But yes, the release date for the Diplomacy Update is here. What does it add? Well, if you've been watching my channel, you should know that. You get the strategy tech and you get the diplomacy tech. You can build embassies. Also, if my voice sounds different, it's because I have a cold. Now, there's something else that I wanted to cover in this video as well. If you remember at the end of my other video where I talked about the beta release for the Diplomacy update, Zoithris teased at the end of the post that there'd be like another part to the Diplomacy update. And that other part was released, but I didn't get to cover it because I had too much college work, but I can do that now. Here we are on the Polytopia Steam webpage. They have some uh, little bit of esports update coming out with Diplomacy, I believe. It says a new update to the Diplomacy beta, so I guess it's coming out with Diplomacy as far as I'm aware. Now I'll just go through this post, because it's pretty exciting stuff. So a new time format for the multiplayer games has been added called uh, Live Games. Many of you have been asking us for faster games, so we've added these new Live Games to satisfy you, which will replace the 5 minute timer option. Somewhat like chess tournaments, Live Games give you a timer of less than 1 minute for your turn at the start, and any time unused rolls over to the next turn. Also, you'll get additional time for each city and unit you have, so you can get the opportunity to move your massive army across the map without stress, assuming you've been taking quick turns. These changes should keep things flowing smoothly, while also putting on the pressure of a merciless turn timer. Right away, that is freaking amazing, because I'm doing these multiplayer games, you know, random multiplayer matches. There are videos where I'll get like halfway through the game, and then the person I'm playing with will just straight up disappear, and I'll have to scrap that video because I, I can't finish the game. Uh, this should ensure that anybody I'm playing with will continue playing by having this sort of live game mode. So that's really cool in and of itself. That should incentivize people to keep playing their matches. This is also something I am extremely excited for. Replays. Ever want to show your friends the next time you lose to Mijiwan in a random match? Well now you can. With our new replay feature, multiplayer games you complete will be saved and can be shared with all the lovely people on the internet. So there are some multiplayer games that I'll play where I'll be like, man, that would have made a really good video, but I wasn't recording. Now, I can go back and I can actually show you guys the game in the replay mode and sort of do like a post-commentary sort of thing. The current setup that I have to record my gameplay, if the file gets too large, the recording will just stop. And sometimes I won't even realize that it'll stop. So I'll get like halfway through a game, recording will stop, and I'll just like lose four or five turns of footage until I realize that it was stopped. With this timeline feature, I can just go back in and show you what happened and get you all back up to speed. I even just recorded a video where halfway through the game, the recording stopped, and I didn't even realize it happened at all, so I ended up having to delete the footage. So when watching a replay, you'll be able to see whose turn it is, what they can see, their research, and other such things. You'll also get the power to fast forward, rewind, and pause. And lastly, you can even favorite your most amazing victories and defeats with a handy heart, so they'll always be around. Each replay is saved to our servers with a link, so all you have to do is copy it and share it around for anyone to see. That is really cool. Good feature. So the post closes out by saying, while this particular patch will primarily add live games and replays, Challenger Mode has been laying the foundation for in-app tournaments and events. That's just, that's a nice little way to get the entire Polytopia community uh, active in some kind of event. So that's really cool. Then just the uh, details for getting into the beta are mentioned. So yeah, overall, really looking forward to the diplomacy update, especially the second part with the whole live games and timeline replay stuff. That's all really handy stuff. And like I said, mark your calendars for May 24th. I think I have the date right. I, I, <laughs> I mentioned I have a cold. I'm really tired right now. You know, I was like, oh, let's sit down and make a nice chill little video. So, hope you guys found this video useful or exciting or epic or whatever. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe for more Polytopia content, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a spectacular day.